Come here, turkey. Get on my plate, turkey. It's the day of reckoning. Come here. People want to eat. Come back, turkey. Come back. You're not on the menu. He's on the menu. Come here. Come here, turkey, turkey, turkey. Get in my belly, turkey. Get in my belly, turkey. Come on. What's your problem? Huh? What's your problem? Huh? What's your problem? You didn't know that we have a bacon for dinner, turkey. Hey, Minnie Pig. Come on, turkey. Get in my belly. Come on, hop in my belly. People gotta eat. Say happy Thanksgiving. And don't eat me, I'm not feeling Bye. Welcome. We are live on Thanksgiving. Me and Pico train, we filled up now. We ready to party. I hope everybody's out there doing okay tonight. You say, hey, Wasco, well, he's waving. Hello. Okay. He's ready to go eat his whatever he's eating. I hope everybody's doing okay tonight. Um, tonight is, a, I guess, a special night for uh, uh, Americans. I don't know if any other countries celebrate this Thanksgiving or whatever we want to call it. But uh, I thought I'd uh, hop on here since I had today off, and I'm feeling pretty good. So I'll uh, get here and see what we can get into tonight. I hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Um, I guess, uh, you know, Thanksgiving's kind of a bullshit holiday, but, you know, there is good things and bad things about it. And um, I think uh, kind of what it is to me is uh, a day to be uh, kind of stop and be thankful for what you have and what you don't have. So, um I think uh, we should always remember uh, what we are thankful for um, because uh, a lot of times we forget that we forget those, you know, the, the things that are in our lives that are important. We also forget to remember the things that are in our lives that are not good uh, that we don't have um, like, you know, things that have exited, exited our lives, you know? So that's, that's a good thing to remember too. Uh, this year I'm, uh, what I'm thankful for is uh, mainly my health. Uh, last year, this time, I was uh, in very, very bad shape um, physically. Uh, and uh, so this year, I'm uh, starting in January this year, I started getting healing. And um, every day, I feel a little bit better. Um, I'm still uh, recovering in ways. Um, I took a pretty hard hit for two years. It knocked every living shit out of me. Um, but... Uh, good folks in the community uh, reached out and, and helped me uh, with getting the healing that I needed. And, I, and um, you know who you are and I want to thank you. Um, I'm very, that's the thing I'm most thankful for. I'm also thankful for having work um, and we're in a weird economy. Um, so I'm really thankful to have work. I'm thankful to have uh, this YouTube channel um, because it has been an outlet to, uh, discuss the research that I've been doing the last 15 years um, for the first uh, a long period of that I didn't um, have any outlet so I didn't have any way to uh, share it with people other than talking to them 
and you know living in the middle of nowhere the, really the only people to talk to or you ever heard the term don't cast pearls before swine well when you live around a bunch of swine and all you have is pearls and that's all you have to cast to so I've, I've learned that it's just a waste of time and a waste of energy and i wasted many years trying to help really stupid fucking people and so uh i've learned that that's just not the right avenue to go so i'm thankful that i don't have to to teach those people anymore um i've learned that lesson uh it took many many years because i always i always thought well you know at some point i'll be able to help these people to pull their head out of their ass you can't help people pull their head out of their ass People had to pull their own head out of their own ass. So anyways, I'm thankful for uh, my little dog, my, uh, my little chihuahua here. Um, the beagle passed away last year, so he's been gone. I don't remember exactly when he passed, but he's been gone over a year now. But uh, I really am thankful for that. And I know uh, you guys are really thankful for a lot of different things. Um, I'm also thankful for... Uh, the uh, researchers in our community um, uh, that have, we, we, we've created a group behind the scenes and uh, it's a small group. I can't remember how many there are of us. There's about 10 of us in there, but everybody, everybody in there is primo researcher. And um, it's the, it's the cream, cream of the crop and it's growing all the time. And it's really wonderful. Um, yesterday, Paul, you know, he is a, a real comedian. He he pulled a prank yesterday in our little group chat and he got me because when I when I read his his joke, um, I was kind of on the way out the door to go to work. And so I, I saw what he did and then I, I didn't get the punchline because I didn't. He did the punchline after the joke. And so <laughs> the whole day I'm thinking what the fuck's going on with Paul? Holy shit. Like that. That's crazy. That's like one of the craziest things I've ever seen. So the whole day, I, he, he really got me. Paul's a funny motherfucker. I'm just telling you that right now. I, I can't tell you the joke because I, he, he might not, he, he might not want me to, but it was, he, he really, we have a good little group. And um, so I'm really thankful for uh, uh, Cam and um, uh, Paul cook and i uh, got campbell auto didactic paul cook uh bernie crypto alchemist um we've got uh stellum seven in there we've got um oh gosh my uh soul from mind unveiled um uh we've got streets of tartara Teria, uh caleb pierce and we've got um seems like there's more uh anyways we we're, we're growing the group um i think it seems like there's more Anyways, it, we're growing the group, and um, if you're, we're trying to get uh, the the primo researchers into the group. So if you're one of the primo researchers, uh, reach out to us because uh, you're welcome to the group. Uh, we just haven't reached out yet. We're not. It's it's kind of we we're flying by the seat of our pants here. But I'm also thankful for uh, uh, all the other researchers like Conspiracy R Us and John Levy and Martin Leitka. Um, and there's so many. There's uh, Jared Boosters. Um, oh gosh, who else? UAP Douglas, uh, who we've invited to the group. I, I don't. We haven't got in touch with him yet. Um, and then, uh, gosh, there's so many. Um, uh, shout out to Jadis and uh, uh, Laura uh, Kelly over there in Australia. Um, I'm sure there's many more. I'm I'm not going to remember, but uh, I'm, I'm thankful for the, for the researchers uh, that are that we have. Um, we're really lucky to have, you know, the people, the kind of people we have in our, in our uh, community. Um, and uh, we're growing um, and we're always looking for new ones. I'm hoping to, that we're going to grow, uh, that there's going to be more and more people uh, that pick up the, uh, the torch, so to speak, and, and go and bring out um, more and more research. Um, you got Michelle uh, Gibson. She's another one. Um, gosh, it's hard to remember all these names, but, uh, I really appreciate all of you. And, um, uh, even though we don't all just, we don't y'all, I, I know y'all, y'all may think we, we have this grand unified theory. We don't, we, we all disagree at some point 
every one of us. It's just there's no consensus amongst the researchers because we're individuals. Um, and uh, so just uh, keep that in mind uh, that we're all going to have different views. Um, we're all going to have different angles. We're all going to have different information. And um, that's that's a good thing because, you know, if we're all tooting the same horn, if we're all saying the same thing, something's wrong. If we're all exactly the same. And I know some people out there will say, oh, they, they all believe this. No, no, we don't. <laughs> No, no, you 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 can't say that we believe it. We all believe the same thing because we don't. We absolutely don't. We're we're so, some of the things that that some of us talk about. The others are just like, what are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. So how are they going to agree with it? You know, sometimes they, they we don't understand what the others are talking about. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of good a lot of good people out there in the community. And I'm thankful for all of them. But anyways, that being said, I guess that's about about the gist of what I wanted to say there. I just wanted to thank you uh, uh, for uh, 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 stepping in tonight. I know uh, a lot of you are are um, out there don't have um, your 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 friends and your family don't don't uh, get you <laughs> anymore because you've you know stepped into this um, awakening thing. And um, as you go up the rungs of the ladder, you'll realize you'll see more and more of them fall off. Uh, you'll look back in your friends and family. The people that you um, uh, care about the most will be gone uh, from your life um, to a full, full extent or to some extent, because you'll realize that they're not working for you. They're not um, they're holding you back. And in order to continue to move forward, you have to let go. Uh, they are on their own path, even though they're your your friends and your family and you care about them and all that good stuff. It doesn't change the fact that you're on your own path. You can't take them with you and they can't take you with them. So uh, we're all kind of alone in this. And so th that's why I want to do a show tonight um, to let you know that you're not alone, um, that we're all still here together, even on a day like this. Um, and so, um, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm just going to go digging in, uh, the digital archives. Um, I know a lot of you enjoy that. And, um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go and, and see what I can find. And, uh, I hope that we'll find some good stuff and, um, we will be, uh, let's see. Okay. I'll check it something here and, um, we'll, uh, we'll get into it. Um, and let's see. So I hope you guys are doing okay tonight. And uh, talk amongst yourselves. And um, I will uh, just go through some some pictures, and um, and we will see what we can find. We were me and Roscoe were watching the fantastic Mr. Fox earlier, and um, that I'm a big Wes Anderson fan. Uh, if you know who Wes Anderson is, um. But he does really good stuff. Uh, let's see. T uh, tonight, let's see. We're going to look at the New York Historical Society Museum and Library. Uh, this particular set of images is uh, called the Subway Construction Photograph Collection. Contract for Route 5, Sections 1 through 5, 1912 to 1929. And so these are images that I can't uh, download the... Uh, high resolution images so we will go and look at them online so let's see we'll look at this one first and so right here i don't know if it has any information or not it's got a, a 320 to 334 broadway in manhattan and so let's see can make that bigger oh wow and these these are really good you know something i've been wondering um these uh this is called an elevated uh platform for an l an l or an elevate an l train elevated train and what i find interesting about this is that this this type of construction is very very similar to viaducts and so i'm wondering if there's any sort of connection to in, to these structures and the viaducts. Here's the thing. This right here 
it is like the beginning of what a via how you put a viaduct together. You you build the the frame on the side, and then you put the I beams across, and then you you well what they did for the elevated train is they put the train tracks on top, but then what they do for viaducts is they they build a road on here and then they fill in the sides with these wing things that then attach to the buildings and then they add the sidewalks. So it just kind of made me think, you know, you know, I've been seeing that and kind of wondering lately and I'm just thinking outside the box. Maybe it's nothing. Um, I don't know. Um, but let's get in there and see what we can find. You see this platform right here and here that is a raised platform. And um, what they do is they'll, a lot of times they'll put, pavement light in those platforms in order to uh, get light into the basement. But the reason they do this is because when they design these, uh, when, when you had the, you got the mud flood level here. And um, so um, the, uh, the building, the, the door here is higher than ground level. And so they have to add these weird little uh, platforms in order to get to the building. So just a little something, something there, nice arched windows, tourist fields. Panama Canal. Oh, wow. Look at that. Paris Hilton would say, that's hot. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, looks like, I bet that was a porthole at one time. This, uh, has a vanilla sky look to it, but I don't know. No, no, it's not. Nope, it's not. Sure isn't. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what else we can find. All right. We got, there's the location, Broadway. Oh, look at those mud flood windows right there. Yep. See that platform right there? You see those little uh, those little circles right there? That's pavement light, y'all. So that's allowing pavement light into the uh, stairs there. Ventilation into the underground. So there's probably pavement light here too. And I already know from just seeing it before is that there's pavement light on Broadway. That's possibly pavement light right there. Pavement is glass. Pavement light is glass. Um. They're, they're little glasses that uh, allow light into the basement. Some of them had prisms. These are portholes here. They're part of a wind catcher system. All right. And let's just see what we can find. Try to give you a look at it before I go in. That's boss man right there. That's pavement light right there on the front there. Got a clock. Clocks are expensive. And look, it's got a IV for the four, I believe. I can't get any closer, but that looks like an IV right there. That's interesting. That is beautiful architecture. Flat Earth Asterix, Taurus Fields. These would be uh, some sort of ventilation to the underground, those great looking things. Got a ghost man there. All righty. And what we got? Get your underwear, sweater, coats. There's pavement light right there. All across there is pavement light. Look at that big arch right there. Now that looks like it would be like goes. That looks like it goes down to me. Just an opinion though. And there's a 
those are prism lights right there and those little pieces right there are ventilation so that will be part of a wind catcher all right i sure wish i could download these i mean i can download them but they're just not high res when you download them of course you can pay for them there's boss man right there with his you know nice little masonic hand signal uh, there's pavement light that he's standing in front of right there. I know that's hard to see, but that's pavement light. I will promise you. Too lit. I see a lot of a lot of uh, you know, for rent signs. Oh wow, look there. How pretty's that? Got an unscrubbed cartouche. That's a good one. That's a great picture. Little beauty under waist. Okay. I don't know what that means. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Wish there was an easier way to do this, y'all, but just is it is what it is let's see let's find let's look at that we can be choosy because there's a bot there's a bunch of pictures y'all so we can be choosy about which ones we look at and i'll try to remember to put the link to this in the description there's fred fred's the horse to build america and he's delivering steel eye beams. Look at that. How about that? See, Fred. Well, they brought them on. Them on they brought them in on trains. Those horses didn't do that. They brought that in on trains. There you go, you are. There you go, Woody. Let's see. Some kind of a. Uh, that's weird. I wonder how old that is. That's a dark hole right there. I don't think I won't go down that one. And right here we got. Um. This might be a coal hole cover, but that's pavement light right there. And that is a pavement light coal hole cover. These might be coal hole covers too, but those are definitely pavement light coal hole covers. That's pavement light right there. Um, right there. And there might be more pavement light in there, but there's at least a little bit of pavement light. In it. And then you got the prism glass right here, which was sold by the same companies. And it, what it did was it shined light back into the building. It had little prisms on the back side of them. Got your facaded building. Phoenician wave. This reminds me of the fascists. Okay. And dee 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 dee. We just never know what we're gonna find, y'all. Okay, uh, this might be pavement light, but this is the grates that they used right before they put in the pavement light, and they found out that didn't work real well. Uh, they were very dangerous. It was a bad idea. People, things would fall through. People, you know, their like ladies' heels would fall through them. They were a bad idea, so they got rid of those. That's a coin on the side of the building. There's portholes there, there, and there. All right. Let's see. What do we go? What are we going to find? Let's see. For rent. See? Wow, 
That's impressive. That's the Dunn building. Eagle representing the Phoenix. Shield. Porthole. Runs like a kind of an unscrubbed cartouche. Arc light. Okay. All right. What else we got? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's try that one. Maybe that one. That one. That one. Okay. All right. Got some, uh, that's an elevated train up there to the right. You got the underground right there. Something, some kind of underground something going on right there. Ventilation in the underground. Prism glass right here. And these panels right here are interesting. This type actually had like a, um, an arm hinge mechanism thingy and what it would do is it, it they as the day would progress they could move this panel and it would move the light further and further back into the building as needed um so that's a, a neat feature cost them a little more money to get that but uh you know it's kind of highbrow kind of stuff i guess there's some nice pretty pavement light right there. Those are the bullseye pavement lights. Those are some of the original pavement lights. They're in a metal frame. And um, these appear to have uh, the knuckles on them, maybe. Let's see if it, I don't know, about 1912. Yeah, those are later versions, I'd say. The first ones didn't have the, no, the, the raised, raised nubs on them. And um, people they uh, people were uh, knocking the glass out too fast, and so they added the nubs. And uh, the nub there's Fred for his horse build America, and um, that's boss man. And um, so they added that later. You got a underground going into underground money save. Is money made? You can save money and. By buying here, I guess it's a motorcycle, bicycle house, but that's going down into the ground right there. Very cool, very cool. Wait a minute. Is that the same picture? Yeah, wait a minute. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. I forgot we're going to need to do this. Let's see. That's about good right there there and save da, 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 save it okay find a good payment light we'll save it for the collection got an underground drop in right there coal hole cover right there there's some bricky war. Count that bricky war. It'll help you understand the Tartarian hypothesis, which nobody knows what the hell you're talking about. What exactly is the Tartarian hypothesis, y'all? Can anyone tell me? Because I sure as hell don't know. They talk about it like it's a thing. Nobody informed me. There's Boss Man right there, and Fred is right there. That's Pooper Scooper Man's outfit right there. He takes care of getting up the poo poo. But there's Asterix right there. 
Okie dokie. Let's see what else we can find. That might be interesting. Check that one out. I'm just randomly picking ones that look like they could be interesting to us, to me, or to anybody. There's pavement light right there. That's the concrete type. They would they're round and concreted in. And that's prism glass. That's a great shot. I need to save that one. That's a good. That's a good, good shot of uh, this stuff. There we go. That's good enough. These are coal hole covers here, here, here. That's more pavement light right there. That's boss man right there. There's more prism glass. There's more prism glass there. Scrub cartouche. Diamond symbology. Look at that right there. Jeez. All right. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, what road are we on? Let's see. Southwest corner of Bleecker Street and Broadway. We might know where that is. I think these old fire hydrants are old world. There's a nice underground right there being guarded by Boss Man. Oh, wow. We can punch in on this. That's cool looking. Got a trap door to the underground there. Havana cigars. Look at that. Can't get them now. It was illegal. I had one of those one time. Bought one. Bought one in uh. Where did I buy that? Bahamas or Grand Cayman or something like that. Shine parlor. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a coal hole cover here and 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 here. Now, understand when I say coal hole cover that, that how important that is. That means that they open this this little. Uh, it's a, it's a, you know, like a cast iron um, lid. Okay. They lift that up and they dump the coal in there. And then all of this under here is hollow. And you can, another thing you see is the pavement light over here on the, on the left-hand side. See, it's got the raised nubs right there. That's the, that's the later version of that version of pavement light. Uh, there's a trap door to the underground. But uh, that means that all of this is, is open underneath the sidewalk. Because they would drop the coal in here and then they would go under the building and get the coal from under there. And this is interesting. Got out there. Looks like they're, I don't know, are they, what are they doing here? Are they adding, we got brick here. I'm not sure what they're doing. What the hell are they doing? That's an odd picture. I'm not sure what they got going there. Let's save that picture. It looks like a nice one. And uh, when I, when I, when my work slows down, uh, which it will eventually, um, I've already set up uh, a connection with uh, the the knowledge channel, and uh, to come on and give us some information about meltology. So we're gonna see what we can learn from knowledge. And see if we can work out some of these differences of opinion um, that the uh, mud flutters and the uh, 
Miltologists have. He doesn't consider he I should say melted built building theory uh researcher because he's he doesn't like the term meltology, it seems, which I can under, I agree with that. But uh um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at what he's got because I I, th I think he's more going in the in the direction that I think that meltology research should go, and that is actually doing fucking research. Excuse my French, but that's that's there's boss men. Uh, that's that's what I'd like to see flat Earth asterisk. Um, I'd like to see you know, you know, real meltology research or real melted buildings research. See, I gotta stop calling that because it's really. That word's been destroyed by perfect morons that would call this right here melted brick. They would say that this right here, this bit, see this brick right here? They would say that this right here is a melted brick that has popcorn. Yes, popcorn ballooned that like, like it blew up to 20 times this size. That's, that's retard level thinking right there. We're not going to do that here. Sorry. You want that? Go to E. Warren Woody. They'll help you out with that. These are badass right here. I need some of those. Santa Claus, bring me some of those, please. Please, Santa Claus. Got some underground action right there. Do, 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 do. Venetian shells. An arc light. Okay. This is on Broadway. Boss man. Too lit. To my see that I think of toilet. There's uh, Fred moving around for all you Fred watchers out there. And there's pavement light right there. I know it's really hard to see, but that's pavement light. Danger. That's interesting. What's going on? They need danger. Wow, look at that. That's badass. But Earth Asterix, in case you need one of them. All right. Oh, looks like they're building. Oh, no, no, they're not building it. I don't know what they're doing. Canal Street, Broadway, and Canal. There's Freddy's hanging out. I don't know what we're up to here. Some sort of crane action. Maybe we're demolishing a building. Got the Fred's lined up, clone of Fred's. I don't know what they're doing. That's interesting, right there. Huh. And there was another one right here, and here, and here, and here, and here. So they're. At one time, that is that building, but there is an arch going into that building, or that was arched windows on the side of that building. Wow, that's kind of interesting right there. Let me take a let me take a screenshot of that. And let's go in, get the interesting stuff. Is this one? Okay. 
I'll say that warrants a little bit more of a look. Uh, let's go to this one. Maybe that one. And that one. Let's see what they look like. Mm, hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. Mall City. Wow, that's a really neat building right there. There's prism glass right there with uh, the uh, windows that are open and closed for the wind catcher. Importers and Traders National Bank. Kind of looks like a line on there, but I can't tell for sure. Scrub cartouche. Arched windows. Cook's tours. Clock clocks are expensive. Beautiful tourist fields. There's Boss Man right there. There's some underground action right there. And there. Okie dokie. It's like a fountain. There's Pooper Scooper Man. At least his equipment. I got paid prism glass right there. Anytime you see prism glass, look down because there's probably pavement light. Same company sold both. There's a flat earth asterisk. Phoenician shell, Taurus field clock. Clocks are expensive. Eagle representing the Phoenix. It's like a seahorse maybe. On that ether antenna. That, that looks like it goes down that door. I think it does. This is weird. Tartarian lions. Yeah, I said it. There's boss man. Got some kind of underground going on right there. Broadway Chambers. Laura Lee for control. A lot of brick there. Gonna need a count on that brick, Ewar. Some interesting details right there. Doki. Got a flyer's asterisk right there. Ether antennas. That looks much more modern of a construction method right there. See how they've got this pulley system right here that it's raising this platform? That looks much more modern. The Woolworth building, very interesting. That looks like a much more modern type of construction method to me. Represent the Phoenician wave, I believe. Okay. A 
This will go here and here and maybe there. And let's see. Just picking them randomly, y'all. Seeing what I can find. There's OS. Oh, wait, let me let me get that one. Oh, slow your roll, Beagle. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, say that. That's a pavement light that is in coho covers. This was a very popular style that they sold. That's pavement light right there. That's pavement light all across there. And there, you can see it right there. And all these are ventilation and underground, and 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 windows into the underground. Souvenir brand, boss man, right there. Man, that's pretty. I sure don't have the answers for what happened back in the past, but um, it's my opinion that um, we haven't been told the truth. That's my hypothesis. That's my Tartarian hypothesis. Is it that something happened in a way that we don't understand? These are pavement light with the nubs, the bullseyes. These are probably, these could be pavement light. That's pavement light right there. But that could be pavement light too. Pavement light. There's boss man again. prism glass those look like the Frank Lloyd Wright uh, prism glass that were uh, attributed to him designing we got a copper I don't I don't have the answers as to what happened I just feel this that something did happen um, and I'm, I'm looking for answers just like you guys um, but I don't have a grand Tartarian hypothesis. I don't think there is one. I don't know of one. If there is one, please somebody send me a link to something I can read or watch or somebody I can talk to that has this, uh, hi, uh, Tartarian hypothesis all wrapped up in a nice little bag that I can check out. Check out that underground right there. Big arch going in there too. Because if there is one unified field theory of Tartarian, you know, research or old world research or whatever you want to call it, I'd like to know what it is. I don't think there is, though. I ain't found it. Venetian wave. That's a weird glass right there. Okay. And so put put in the chat whatever you guys are thankful for this year. Um you know, let the universe know that you're thankful for what you have. Let us know what you think not that you're thankful you don't have in your life too. There's a uh, prism glass right there. That's probably pavement light right there. And that's definitely pavement light there and there. I know it's hard to see. Um, got an underground here. And here. I know that we don't, a lot of you don't celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday and but uh, that doesn't mean you can't stop and 
be thankful. I mean, the thing what they tell us the Thanksgiving holiday is about is a bunch of horse shit. That's not all that shit's crap, but you know, that doesn't mean we have to make it that. We can make it whatever we want. It's our world. We can make it. Make it how make it into whatever we we want to make it into. Let's see here. Let's find. This might be interesting. Look at that. Look there. Just picking these randomly, y'all. There's so many. I mean, you, there's no way to to look at them all. No, let's look at this one. Tell you what, I'm gonna let me uh, I'm gonna get a um, a splash of coffee, and uh, stoke the fire, and I'll be right back. Young, sit there and enjoy that picture, and you draw amongst yourself. Oakley doakley. What we got here is pavement light on the left hand side. And we got uh, pavement light in these uh, coal hole covers here. We got pavement light right there. We got boss man right there. Doing what boss man does. We got some trolleys. Alrighty. That's pretty right there. It's ventilation in the underground. Same here. They're standing on pavement light. That boss man right there. Just absolutely amazing architecture for this time period. Venetian shell cornucopia. Theo Kruger. Huh. Venetian shell, Tartarian lion. Wow. That's pretty. Florida Lee. Unscrubbed cartouche. Wow, that's a good one. Phoenician shells. More leaf of control. Wow. William Carroll Company hats. So that's a hat store. Jeez, that's incredible. I don't know, man. Just something ain't right, you know. 
and not everything, you know, that's something, another thing is that, that, that the, uh, the ninnies keep saying is that there's your uh, Masonic hand symbol at very, very, yeah, very low key there, dipshit. But, uh, you know, they're, they're saying that, that, that we're saying that everything is a lie. Well, now some people might be saying everything is a lie. I'm not saying everything is a lie. I'm not saying everything is a lie. I'm saying, no, that's, that's a, that weird symbol I keep looking for. I don't know what the hell that thing is. I'm not saying everything is a lie. I think there's a lot of truth in our history. I think, but it's jarbled up and, and, and mixed up into, you know, a bullshit narrative and changed and the dates are changed and it's very confusing uh, as to what the truth is. I've got pavement light right here. And this is the kind that's a, a, a trap door. This would open up. You can tell by the, that the fact that it's, you know, the square shape and then the, it's got the line in the middle. So that means it opens up and they're standing on pavement light. Got boss man here. He's holding. These are little ventilations to the underground right here. Those little graded things right there. They could be, uh, possibly could be, uh, no, I think those are just ventilation. I was about to say they might be coal holes, coal hole covers too, but I think those are just ventilation to the underground. They needed air to get down into the underground because they didn't have the electric lights at the time. And so they needed the air for the, you know, the gas um, lamps and stuff. Because that's what the lighting they used at the time. Not this time, because obviously they have electric, but when the buildings were, were made. In case, you, in case you're wondering. What is your favorite... Thanksgiving food, y'all. I tell you, uh, I'd say my two top uh, favorites that I had of all time. Uh, we used to make a um, an oyster casserole that was to die for, but it had to be you had to have good oysters. And if you know anything about oysters, you know some years they're good and some years they're not. But you had to have good oysters, and um. That thing was, oh my gosh, if you like oysters, there's just what nothing better. And then uh, the, the second thing was uh, one year I made uh, Paula Dean's apple butter uh, pumpkin pie with praline pecans on top. And that thing is just pure sin in a, in a pie tin. So if you, want, you ever want that, you can still get her recipe on her on her i guess on her website but it's it, apple paula dean's apple butter pumpkin pie but you have to get another recipe now for the the praline uh because uh the the recipe doesn't include the praline pecans um but uh that right there if you want to impress somebody with your baking skills i'll tell you what mm, that's a hell of a thing that's pavement light right there in case you're wondering boss man got a trap door to the underground got pavement light right there got a coal hole cover elevator entrance it's interesting elevator to what so what are you guys thankful for i'm looking to pay i'll go back and read these comments later so so you know i may not get you now but i always go back and read them later I can, it's hard to do two things at once if i I've, I've found if i if i try to do both it doesn't work these these freaking beams are are just huge got pavement light more pavement light there you can see them busted out right there and there's pavement light they're standing on I drop in into the underground right there boss man standing in the hole covering it Pavement light there, more pavement light. Got an unscrubbed cartouche with a 
something 58 Tartarian Lion on it. Can't read the date. Canadian Pacific. Let's see. That's a wind catcher window right there and there. All righty. Let me check something here. Okay. We've got pavement light right here and here. All of that. It's, I know this stuff's really hard to see. That's all pavement light right there that you're looking at. From here, from, from over here to over here is pavement light. I, I know you can't, it's really hard to see, but it's, I don't know, it's really hard to see. That's pavement light right there. He's standing on pavement light right there, boss man. That evil grin, look at that dude. Dude, you look super creepy. Damn. A lot of creepos here. Look at that old light. Hey, there's Levy. That's a wind catcher window. You can see the other one right here. It's that same building we we're just looking at. Alrighty. Majestic lunch. Boss man. Got to drop in into the underground right there. Got pavement light. Got more pavement light. More pavement light. Got a coal hole cover right there. Get your stits and hats. Beautiful architectural details. Wow, look how damaged that looks. East India Ostrich Feather Company. For a short time, the entire stock of ostrich feathers and willow plumes will be sacrificed regardless of cost. Okie dokie. Got a coho cover there. So get your ostrich feathers. Get them while they last. Let's see. Just randomly looking for some pictures. If you guys had a good Thanksgiving, I hope that everybody's doing okay tonight. Got flat earth asterisks. I just wanted to give you a place to go and hang out and speak to your community and chitty chat and maybe look at a little bit of mud flood pictures and old world jibber drawing and see what we can find and give you a place that you can go and be with your own kind because we're still kind of like unicorns you know we're not uh the great awakening has not happened yet in case you hadn't realized got a coal hole covered there and there and there and there that's pavement light right there. Ventilation in the underground. Four ones on the clock. Porthole. Tartarian Lion. Oh, wow. Those are those lamps. Yeah, I'm going to need those 
So if anybody would like to send me those for Christmas, I will definitely take delivery of those from Santa Claus this year. So anyone with these would like to donate them to the cause of my crib, we will definitely hang those shortly. Got some underground action there. That's a weird thing right there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, oh, better check that cobblestone brick road for melting. Might melt away. Never know. Depends on who you talk to. I think the meltologists are still licking their wounds. Uh, got pavement light right there. Got it right there. See the holes that are knocked out? People would like walk up and, and mistakenly kick them with their, the toe of their shoe and it would not knock them out, you know. Poor design work. Going up, up, up. Muslin underwear. Might need some of that. Not sure what that is, but I don't... They got some crappy awnings. Too lit. There's Fred back there. Always on the job. God, it's good to be a horse and cart researcher. There's a Pooper Scooper Man's gear, and that's Pooper Scooper Man right there. There's pavement light right there. There's pavement light right there. There's pavement light right there. Coal hole covers. Yeah, I've yet to hear the ninnies come at me about the pavement light or the, the viaducts. Uh, it's funny how they pick low-hanging fruit. They never go for the meat and potatoes. Ah, uh, just saying, if you really, you know, want to make a dent in the Tartarian hypothesis, maybe you should come at the actual research. Maybe that would be a good, you know, way to start. <sighs> but they won't. They had, they, 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 they got the interview owen benjamin the other day who i'm I, he seems like a nice guy i guess he's pretty funny um i don't know a whole lot about him but uh i find it very weird um this is just my opinion y'all and uh get your feathers in a twist if you want but I, I just find it very weird that people are changing their their screen names to it's like a, a cultish kind of thing when you change your screen name to bear. It's There's those lights that I'm looking for for Christmas from Santa Claus to Santa. That's on my wish list, please. I just find it very creepy. Like if people started going, uh, I'm so-and-so Beagle or or something like that, I would I would be like, nope, uh-uh, we're not going to do that. That's not that's not okay. I, I, I find that very funny very creepy it's very cultish it's very uh poor holes tartarian line that's very creepy to me I, I, I that's a red flag to me when people start um i don't know it, it's like group think let's all think together let's all you know pat each other on the ass and believe the same thing i just don't really uh i'm not falling for that flat earth asterisks right there i'm just not gonna fall down that rabbit hole and stay in it that's just my personal opinion i know there's a lot of bears out there and uh you know if that's your thing if you want to i don't know i just I, i'm not gonna follow one dude and uh, i don't know i don't want nobody following me and i ain't gonna follow nobody flat earth asterisks Ain't none of us got the answers, you know, the answers, you know, the, the underlined, you know, <laughs> there is no one truth. There is no truth. There is, you know, 
the the truther community really needs to wake up they're, they're more sleep in some ways than the sheeple because you here's here's the thing a lot, a lot, this this is a very important lesson for, for the awakening flat earth asterisks the awakening ones to understand is that um and we've we all go through this is when you wake up okay you, you the first thing you think is oh i'm awake i'm awake thank goodness i'm awake i'm finally awake and then you start learning okay and you learn more and more and more and more and you become more and more and more awake the the thing is that you you have to understand is that the prism lights is that awakening is like a ladder it's like steps you know you're you're lower leaf of control it, it's one rung at a time okay and sometimes you get stuck on a rung and sometimes you have sometimes you skip rungs sometimes you fall back down okay pavement light let's get that picture that's a good one let's see get it just perfect okay but you know awakening is a process and it's not one thing and it's not like you flat earth asterisks it's not like you wake up and and you you know you have, you have arrived you, you know you were awake and that's it that you can put down your you know your it, it's not like you're done that's just the beginning i've been awake i'll be awake 15 years in january this year flat earth flat earth asterisks below ground level right there very interesting but uh you know i i've gone up and down in in you know when i first woke up i was very uh Oh, the, the whole lovey and lighty thing. Oh, lovey, lighty. Oh, yes. We've got to be all lovey, lighty. You know, try to make everything lovey and light. And, you know, the truth is, that's not the truth. The truth is that there's a balance in between. Sometimes you're lovey and lighty, and sometimes you you just got to be an asshole. Okay, sometimes you got to embrace the dark because it's a balance. Uh, there's a coho cover with pavement light right there, there, and there, and there, and there. And pavement light over here on a platform, pavement light in the stairs. Got some kind of underground, probably a elevator right there. That's boss man. But uh, that's just an important lesson is that there's a lot of people out there that are actually people that you know you follow your that you're you're sub to and, and you follow their work that they're only part of the way awake. And they seem really awake because well, they are awake. It's just they're only to a certain level, you know, and, and they've it, through the years, they'll change. You'll see them. You'll see them change. Um, now, I'm not talking about uh, Ewar. I mean, it, that's not that's not who I'm talking about. He honestly, I think what he is is a Trojan horse. I think, you know, he came in and he stole other people's research. And he put this. uh um, these videos together, then he flippy flopped. Okay. I, that's a Trojan horse to me. I, I think that's what he is. I think that was his plan all along. I don't think he flip flopped shit. I think it was a, a, a coordinated attack on the truth community. That's pretty right there. Whatever they got going on there. I mean, seriously, we're going to build a building this beautiful. And then we're going to put that piece of crap sign on the top of the building. With the Seth antennas. Something ain't right there. But no, there's there's a lot of people that, you know, it, it's, this is just, this is a hard lesson to understand is that when you wake up, just realize that there's going to be ups and downs. You're, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to get it wrong. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to start believing things that aren't correct. And you're going to change your thinking, you know? And it's just part of the process. And it's okay. It is okay. And that's why it's not, you know, a great idea to, when you're you're first waking up, to, to share it with your, you know, the people you care about. Because you're not ready yet to even have conversations like that. 
And a lot of times we rush in and um, we try to have conversations that we're not ready for ourselves. And um, we make mistakes. So my advice is to slow your, your role in your awakening and, you know, take it, you know, take it as, take it easy and learn at your own pace. And, um, what I just did there. Oh, weird. And, um, learn at your own pace. That's pavement light there. In case you didn't realize that's underground. Cafe rest restarian. That's interesting. That's an interesting name. Does anybody else think that's interesting? I think that's interesting. But, uh, there's that weird symbol, whatever the hell that is. That's strange cartouche. A lot of open spaces for rent. Beautiful tourist fields there. There's underground windows and doors right there. So there's pavement light right there. That's that. This is a, that same restaurant underground. So we've got a restaurant underground. That's just weird. That looks got a funky look to it right there. Like it might be pavement light all the way across there. And it's possible. I've seen that before. Um, I've seen it in Chicago. Definitely. So sometimes they, they'll pavement like the entire sidewalk, which is impressive looking for sure. Just amazing architecture here. At their antennas back there. And I don't know when this event happened that took out this previous civilization. I don't, you know, I don't have that information. It, I believe that we re started repopulating around 1850. These are all portholes for a wind catcher. Um, and I believe that whatever happened, happened prior to 1820. Um, but it could have been much further in the in the past than that they might have uh, uh i don't know how far back the event happened and anybody that says they do they don't nobody knows i mean we're just this is very we're just gonna put a flat earth asterisk here in wood just because on this crappy little building just because it's you know yeah we're gonna do that that's just the way we're gonna do it um I don't, I don't have the answers. I don't, you know, I don't think anybody has the answers, but there's lots of theories. You know, theories are good. Of course, then you could go and talk to Ewar and he'll tell you all about the Tartarian hypothesis, but he don't know what he's talking about either because there is no tar Tartarian hypothesis. He don't know what the Tartarian hypothesis is. That's all pavement light right there. Every bit of that. There's boss man. This guy is following this camera because I'm just seeing him over and over and over again. In case anybody hadn't seen that. These are ventilations in the underground right here, these little boxes. Do, do, do. Just randomly picking these out. Um, I'll take a survey now. Do y'all want to um, continue looking at this set? Or would you like me to look at a different um, set? Um, pavement light. I have other sets lined up that we can go look at in different locations so if you want to go look at something different we can or if you're really enjoying these we can stay here um 
the, y'all, if it burns alcohol, we make it. Okay. If it, ah, wow. <laughs> Boy, they don't want you to know that. That's, in, that's an important sign right there. Huh. There's a truth in plain sight. That's a porthole for a wind catcher. You like you like this set, GT. I mean, I don't mind keeping keeping looking at this set. If y'all if y'all this pavement light, we can keep looking at this set. But you know, if you get bored with this, let me know. Um, and we've got uh, I've got others we can look at. I've got so many of these uh, to look at that I mean, just it doesn't even matter. I could I could just literally make this a you know what I do on my channel, but I don't you know I like to do different things like I like to switch it up and um let's see let me kind of I do I am gonna switch it up some let's i'm gonna look at that picture look at that that How about that let's see i might switch there's a there's a whole nother there, this uh this um digital archives has a bunch of different sets in this within this set Look how that's that's all underground right there. It goes down in there. That's so weird. So weird. Beautiful. Just so unnecessary in this time frame. I don't even think it matters. Could we or could we not build this? Why would we build this? is is really the question why what what would be the purpose in this time frame okay i don't know what happened there we'll go to another one in this time frame what, what will be the purpose of building like this in, in such fine amazing fashion pavement light underground right there Just don't know. Just seems very excessive. There's that weird symbol. That is very excessive. Taurus fields. We got winters underground. Winters underground. I mean, it just seems very excessive to me. Whether we could or couldn't do it. Got a little peek into the underground there. And New York is on my list of possible viaduct cities. Um, but, uh, and I think New York is, uh, I've, I've seen things in New York that just lead me to think that New York is just stupid deep. Beyond deep, beyond mud flooded. It's like another, whole nother level of deep <laughs> um, underground there. So, Phoenician shells, National Shoe and Leather Bank building, Shoe and Leather Bank. Okay, dokey. So, Shoe and Leather's buying that. Okay, got an underground there. Got an outcrop door there. We made that. Alrighty. Burn through these.
what's the most interesting thing about the mud flood that you all have learned this year? What's the thing that stumped your mind the most? Oh, wait, let me back up so you can see that overall picture. That's a great shot. Look at that. Wow. A lot going on in that picture. Look at that. You just have to take that in. I don't even. A lot going on there. There's a wind catcher window right there. And there too. All, all those are wind catcher windows. There's a squatting man symbol. Otherwise known as a flat earth asterisk. Otherwise known as a symbol for flat earth. That's my opinion. It's paying the light right there. Oh, it mean do that. Okay. That's a that was a good picture. I like that one. Me like. I got an underground right here. Just crazy architecture. Underground right there. Wow. Scrub cartouches. More scrubbed. Jeez. Eagles representing the Phoenix. Clock clocks are expensive with the four ones. Yeah, man, oh man. Ether antenna right there. <laughs> in that, in that uh, Owen Benjamin interview uh, with uh, Ewar, they, Owen, they opened with o Owen Benjamin talking about how he heard somebody calling them the Skeptards. And I'm the one that said it. Yes, that was me. <laughs> so Owen Benjamin, even though he may or may not realize he called me out, gave me a shout out. <laughs> Thank you, Owen Benjamin. I don't know if that means he's watching, you know, my um channel. I don't know. That's that's kind of a interesting process of thought there. I don't know. But uh he he definitely made that comment and um, but that that was definitely me. I I call him started calling him and it's funny. I it's uh, I just uh came up with that like I just thought oh skeptards um, and I I thought I'd made that word up at first um, but later on I realized that it's actually a uh, in the Urban Dictionary um, which is cool. I didn't make it up, but uh. I definitely, uh, you know, coined it in reference to the uh, skeptics of our community. So, which there's a, you know, there's a group of them. It's not one or two people. There's Pooper Scooper Mans. I have a list of them. We've got a random flat earth asterisk here just for shits and giggles. Oh, yeah, we're going to pull a horse up with a, look at that. <laughs> There's Fred getting hauled up. That's weird. That's a very weird picture. I don't know. That's an odd picture right there. 
I, hmm. It's like the people aren't aren't there or something. I don't know. The way they're walking looks strange. Maybe it's nothing. So did anybody get to tell their family this year about the mud flood that wasn't aware of the mud flood? And were they, do they think you're a cuckoo clock now? <laughs> uh, it's a bad idea. <laughs> just, just let them figure it out themselves. That's my advice to you. Just the, the 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 ones that you care about the most don't don't bother, don't even bother. It is really not. Um, you you're not gonna wake them up. You can you can you can throw them hints, you know, plant seeds with them, but don't try to wake them up. They'll, you're just gonna piss them off. They'll attack you. Um, they don't want to, you know, that you're, you're, you're close. The people that are closest to are the ones that are going to believe you the least. Got an underground there selling out. Oh, this must be Ewar store. Sell out. Okay. Western bankruptcy stock. Okay. All righty. Oh, look at your doggy in the window. How much is that dog in the window? Woof, woof. I have asked Santa for a, a miniature beagle for Christmas, but I doubt he'll bring him. I would love to have a miniature beagle. Have you ever seen a miniature beagle? That's the cutest damn thing on the face of the planet. I'm telling you right now, shh, don't tell, don't tell the Chihuahua he, he didn't hear that. He's sleeping. Flat Earth Asterix got pavement light right here, going around the corner. I'll tell you what, mm, that is a cute dog. They make a Chibigle, but they're uh, and they're 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 adorable. I wouldn't mind having one of those, but I, I really think a, just a, a miniature beak would be the coolest thing. Man, there's a lot going on there. Okay. I'm just randomly going through and looking. Ooh, let's see. Laying down. Laying bricks down there. Got an underground right here. Got a pavement light right there. Wow, look at that. Another reason I think it's important to look at these pictures is that people do not realize what was going on in the early 1900s. This is all coal hole covers right here. This is all pavement light right here. People do not realize the quality. I think there's those prism lights that could open up, and I'm not sure. Anyways, um, they, they do not real, realize the, the, the quality of architecture that we had at this time. I know I didn't. And I bet you if you 
you know, if you just show um, people that you want to help understand this, if you just show them pictures, um, don't don't tell them shit. Just let them see the pictures. Flat Earth asterisk. Um, Phoenician shell. Pavement light right there. You know, it, the pictures speak a thousand words, you know. People don't look, they don't look like they're in, I don't know, they, mm, they kind of, I don't know, they look kind of weird, I don't know. Prism glass, clock, clocks are expensive, got four ones on the clock, eagle representing the phoenix, Tartarian lions, Phoenician shells, Look how weird that step is going up and then you got basement going down does that make any sense oh i didn't hit the button Just randomly looking at these. You can tell there's just too many to look at. I mean, it's just. It take way too long to look at every single picture. This is Trinity Church on Broadway. This is real near uh, Ground Zero. Matter of fact, in the. For you, those of you old enough to remember uh, when I, when uh, they uh, false flagged the towers that day, the people that were looking and putting up pictures, trying to find their loved ones, uh, they put the pictures on the fence for at Trinity Church. So the the video that you saw um, of them looking for their family, the relatives, those pictures were on that fence at that church. So, well, this must be a balloon rock uh, wall here. Yeah, this one, right? This one balloon rock like super sized. This must be special one. This one got hit triple with the X factor. <laughs> okay, show me the evidence. Uh, th th that is the evidence. The, th the picture is the evidence. Th th don't you see the, th the picture? Yeah. You see all that pavement light right there? Okay. See that? See that? Let's see what we're going to find. Looks like a nice underground right there. Just flying through y'all. Give y'all something to do and look at on Thanksgiving Day 2022. You got underground right there. Got pavement light right there. That, wow. Well, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. That might not be pavement light. I'm not sure what that is. It could be pavement light, but I don't think so. That might be... I don't know. That could, it could be pavement light. It may not be pavement light. This looks like pavement light right here. I'm not sure what that is. I've seen stuff that could signify that's pavement light, but I'm not sure. Got a nice little underground right there. Okie dokie. Interesting symbology there. I 
and wind catcher window. Some kind of entrance to underground right there. Got coal hole covers there, pavement light there, and there. But these are all coal hole covers here. Got ghost people, pavement light. These are prism glass, and these kinds could open up like an awning, and they could move the, the glass so that the light would shine deeper and deeper into the building as the sun would change. It's like a circumpunct represents the uh, creator, Florida Lee. Hey, there's head, Facebook has headquarters. A broken glass there. That's interesting. We're up grading right here putting eye beams out for a patio I guess that's what it looks like come out as usual I don't know I can't read it I don't want to read it That's an interesting picture right there. Oh, let's see. What we're gonna find, what we're gonna find. Blast through these, cause let's see if we can go look at another Another group of pictures. Huh. So we're having to prop that building up for some reason. Paps Blue Ribbon. That's pavement light right there. Well, I'm glad they didn't put that beam on that pavement light because they'd go right through it. Probably. I don't know. Pavement light was pretty strong when they first when they first installed it. It was it was very strong. It's over time that it failed. It just couldn't withstand the elements. Water just destroys it. And now you see them falling in all the time. They just can't hold up. This is St. Paul's, I guess, Cathedral. Got winters underground. He's looking for him a winter underground. They got railing. Purdy. More winners underground. Letters asterisk. Oh my gosh, construction picks. Y'all never show construction picks when we can clearly see them in the archives. Well, there you go. There's construction picks. And he saw them with a saw. Because that's efficient. If you've ever sawed with a hand saw, you know the sarcasm that was in my voice and what that means. Do, do, do. That's pretty. Very mandala y. It's 
cymatic -y looking. I do believe. Very cool. I think that they, I don't know about these ones in particular, but I, th I think they came in and uh, took out the stained glass and redid them and put all the religious motifs in them. Um, I, I think that originally they looked a lot different. I mean, they reused the glass. I just think they put them in different configurations um, and possibly uh, degraded the technology um, that was there in the process. I, I mean, I don't know what how the technology worked. It's got a Moorish look to it right there. This business right here and the windows. Just an opinion. Got a low flood window down there in case you need that. How how long this one is? I thought we we're getting to the end of it, but we're not. He's standing on pavement glass, gonna do a little tap dance. We got coal hole covers there. There's that building we we're just looking at right there. Tell you what, let's keep that there and then let me look nope wrong one let's look and see if there's this is the uh set here that's um where this that where the the set we were looking at came from um this is the collect the main collection page for this collection, 1900 to 1950. Um, and then they've got them labeled here per the collection. Um, let's see, this is 1900 1932. Let's kind of see if we can find early, see the earliest ones. Let's see. 19, 12, 13, 23, 13, 12, 15, 07. 19, 12, 13, 12, You see what I'm saying? That each one of these had, like, I don't even know where the end was of the one we were just looking at. Let's see what this one opens up into let's just see what we get I don't know if all these are as good as the other we were just looking at or what we'll find out Doing some some kind of remodel there. Huh. That's interesting. We got the place tore up, don't we? He's gonna dive. There's Fred on the job. Just to imagine that there's a flat earth asterisk right there. Just to imagine that there's this much going on in this time is just amazing. I thought everything was plain, you know, like just buildings. Like I didn't realize that they were so nice. When I, when I realized how nice they were, that, that's kind of, that was an eye-opening thing. 
Big Tom. So working on the sewer here in these pictures. Hope y'all are doing well tonight. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Just uh, hanging out tonight, looking at some old world pictures and uh, spending time with your community and talk amongst your, your buddies there. And uh, I'm just giving you a place to do it. Um, there's not a whole lot of places in the world for us right now. Um so it's nice, I think, to have somewhere to go um, just to be with your, your, your clan, you know. I think it's a, a good thing to have something. I don't know if anybody else is doing anything tonight, but, uh, um, you know, I imagine somebody is. I, I don't know who, though. Nobody said anything um, that I know of. But I'm sure somebody is. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm just grabbing these randomly, y'all. There's so many. It's just. It's unreal. That's another thing I don't think people understand is how many images there are available. It's like, why? I hear it all the time. Why, why don't you show these pictures? Hell, I didn't know they existed. Or maybe I just hadn't got to them. Or, you know, there's pavement light right there. I mean, there's there's a lot of reasons other than you know they the, the first thing they want to say is oh, you're you're not showing these images oh these images oh oh you don't want to show these <laughs> you know the ninnies go for the the throat before they do any kind of thinking it has nothing to do with that it's just you can't show every damn image not to mention that they keep coming at one more every day there's more every single day they're putting them out there's people whose job there is in the world all across the world a lot of people that their job is to put these images online so they're doing it all day every day so every day there's more and more of these images so you know a lot of times i had never seen them why hadn't you shown these images because i've never seen the damn things why do you think <laughs> that's one reason <laughs> This this one here has got um right this is interesting right here and here looks like it's been uh at, the paint has been added to it to darken it so that's a red flag got underground there coal hole covers there underground. Possibly vanilla skied. See if we find any other evidence of shenanigans. Because, you know, once you see a little bit, then you should look closer because that telltale, you know, a little bit of, you know, you see a little bit of manipulation. There might be a lot more in the photo. I'm not saying there is, but. It's possible, so you should, you know, take a look. Check that out. Gosh, there's just so many. What do you what do you guys want for Christmas? I want I want one of those uh, fancy ether lights that we showed, saw earlier, and I want a miniature beagle. That's what I want for Christmas. 
Oh, and a DeWalt Impact uh, driver. Want one of them too. What do y'all want for Christmas? You got to tell Santa Claus what you want because Santa Claus can't get it if Santa Claus don't know. Fine furs. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not on board with the whole. Let's put fur on our backs thing. I don't know. Maybe it made more sense the old days or something. This is interesting. What are y'all up to? I see you back there. Man, I really wish I could download these. They're so good. Let's take a look at these. Why is there like why would you need all that detail on the top? Oh, it just seems so excessive. Oh wow, that's a good pavement light picture. All that's pavement light. All everything you see right there is pavement light. Man. Boy, that's something else. Look at that. That is a pretty sight right there. See, pavement light, number one, I think it's a cover up for the mud flood. Number two, it's in most, I would say 90% 90, 90 of the pavement light is now gone. Prism glass. A lot more prism glass has survived uh, than, uh, that's when catch your window, than the uh, pavement light. My point here is that there is there was so much pavement light all around the world that people don't know it. And that's why I'm always pointing it out. Even though it's repetitive, it it needs to be repetitive. You need to realize that it was everywhere. It was all over the damn place. And 90% of it, and I'm not joking, 90% of it is gone now absolutely gone not coming back they destroyed it it's in landfills and so you know it, it's it was so see there's pavement light right there it, it's so amazing dropping in underground there was so much of it it's just incredible interesting sign there just absolutely incredible. How did I get to page 95? That don't even make sense. Oh, I hit the wrong. Ah, I see what I've done. Okay. I knew something wasn't right. Buttons aren't toys. There's boss man. You got a nice big arch there. Phoenician wave. Horseshit awning. Let me get you a good shot of that horseshit awning. That's that's just beautifully quality. That's beautiful quality horseshit awning right there. All bunched up, ratty looking. This is interesting. Building the sewer, maybe. Oh my goodness, was it a construction photo? Oh my. That 
there's so many construction photos. I, I tell you the truth though, a lot of these damn construction photos are just really just kind of boring. They're not to me. I just kind of, I don't know. They're just not as, uh, not that interesting. They're important, but they're just not, when you're looking at them, they, they don't, they're not eye candy like the, the other kinds of pictures. Like, I'd much rather look at a picture like this. You got some construction something going on here. You got Fred, of course. I mean, Fred's got to be there. Um, but uh, I would rather look at something like this than just a plain construction photo. Look at people down in the dirt, in the mud. I don't know. Look at that. A lot going on there. Of course, there's Fred on the job. Boss man. Go, go, go. Just randomly picking these, y'all. Kind of underground construction. Jeez. Oh, wrong button. Buttons aren't toys. Oh, there's a good one. So, a paper boy. Look at that lamp. Jeez, look at that. Oh, man. Man, that's that's that right there is mud flood porn. That's triple X mud flood right there. That's naughty right there. Good grief. Well, it was balloon rocks right there. They balloon right on up. That's a brick and it's turned into a stone and puffed up like a piece of popcorn. Okay, dumbass. Get back on the short bus. Terry and Tinch Construction Company. Digging down in the mud. Is that a brick wall down in the ground? What's going on there? Kind of odd. There's another one. It's kind of odd. Why is that there? Gosh. Boss man right there. I, I I I I tell you what I I was just thinking about Paul Cook. You you if I hope I hope Paul Cook will pull that joke on on the community because like he pulled on us because that that joke was so <laughs> he pulled it off so well he really got me. <laughs> of course, it was better because I walked away like because I because I didn't the, the rest of the guys they got it like they heard the punchline. I don't know how soon they heard the punchline pretty soon after he did, he pulled the joke, but I didn't hear the punchline for, you know, 
eight or 10 hours. <laughs> so for eight or 10 hours, I'm like, what in the hell's wrong with Paul? He gone crazy. <laughs> he got me good. I mean, he wasn't targeting at me. He was targeting at the whole group, but he, he got me. He knows that he thought it was funny as hell. Good one, Paul. Good one. See, we like a good joke. We we like a good, we like to pick on each other. We're, we're constantly picking on each other. That That's, that's, you know, part of the fun of the group. We, we like to laugh at ourselves because, because we, we are, we are comical. Um, Sometimes because we were trying to be and other times we're not trying to be other times. It's just, we find each other funny because, you know, we're from different parts of the world. So we, you know, it's just, we have different ways about doing things. And, and so it's funny. We'll climb the light and light it up there. There's Fred. You know, Fred may or may not have brought in everything. Fred or may, may or may not have done all this. But I'll tell you what, the official story is that Fred did a shit ton of it. And that's good enough for me. And that what that's what makes Fred the horse to build America to me. Oh, this is a crazy shot Houston Street Elman Houston look at that okay what's going on here so this is ground level here what is this Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let me take a snapshot of that. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Let me get close in on that. Let's see. Oh. see anything that's really weird I don't know we'll have to ask Ewar about that tell you what let me uh let me take a, a quick break you guys stretch my legs Take old Chihuahua out, let him go out for patrol, catch him a pit bull or two. He gets him by the neck, you know, just tears him up. Let's see. Let me uh, find something to let y'all play with for a minute. Let me find something that y'all can you look at. I ain't got time to do a lot of show prep these days so bear with me let's see this is no uh, I'm just gonna play this uh, da, da, da. <laughs>
again! Say woof again! I've got one that can see. Okie dokie. If you'd like to support my efforts here on EasyTube, I have Patreon links in the description. And I have a merch uh, link in the description. You can get t-shirts and mugs and hoodies, all Mud Flood Club related. Uh, Flat Earth Asterix t-shirts. Goodies like that. And um, we are back. And Roscoe Pico Trains want to say hello again. Say hello. I know he's cute and adorable. He can't help it. Um, and that was L.C. King, one of our resident YouTube creators. And I think I saw him in the chat earlier. And uh, that was his song. And uh, so go give L.C. Uh, King a like and subscribe. And tell him hello. And happy Thanksgiving. And uh, let's see. I guess we'll get back into it here. Let me get that off of here. And share screen. Okie dokie. So, okie dokie. We're back to it. We're back in the New York. Um, these are, It's like a collection of uh, pictures that were taken when they were doing construction. Um, but there's a lot of construction photos. That, but there's what interests me is more there's pictures of of the city um which is more what i like to look at um but i'm showing a little bit of everything here i guess this is a uh, southwest corner of elm and Le leonard street mr contractor built that he unfortunately did not build this you know this reminds me of uh something i ran across the other day that i had never heard of um let me see if i can find that uh bear with me a second let me um let me see if i can find that because that was i found something kind of interesting i hadn't heard of before and i just wanted to see if y'all had seen it and i gotta remember where i put it Something I was going to share with you. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, I found it. Yes. Okay, let me share screen. Okay. This is called a... Croton Reservoir, and I believe this is in New York. I've got some information about it. We'll go and look at it. And I guess this was kind of in the middle of the city, sort of. I'd never heard of this before. Maybe there's nothing interesting about it. But to me, it was like really kind of cool. It's got that Star 40 look. With the angled walls, the bastion kind of corners. I just ran across this image. I just, I just, I had not heard of this before. I guess it was a reservoir in the city. Obviously, it's empty right now, but and then it's. I found this here. It's a uh, croton distributing reservoir also known as the murray hill reservoir was above ground reservoir at 42nd street and 5th avenue in new york city borough of manhattan covering four acres and holding two million u.s gallons it supplied the city with drinking water during the 19th century its massive 50 foot high wall granite walls which presented a vaguely egyptian style facade were 25 feet thick. Jeez. Atop the walls was a public promenade offering panoramic views. Edgar Allan Poe enjoyed walking there. When established, the Croton Aqueduct was New York's foremost water source. Construction began in May 1837 and filling began in 1842. 
amidst great fanfare. Prior to the crush, uh, prior to the construction of the aqueduct, water was obtained from the cisterns, wells, and barrels of from rain. The aqueduct and reservoir obtained their names from the water's source, a series of mostly underground conduits that would bring water from the Croatoan River in north in northern Westchester County to New York City spigots. Granite walls surrounded the above ground reservoir. And that thing is freaking massive. Demolition. The reservoir was torn down in the 1890s. Today, the main branch of New York Public Library, located in the eastern portion of Bryant Park, stands at the location. So that's really very interesting because the, the New York Public Library is you know uh, to me an old world building so that here you have this uh anomaly and when i find these things um i haven't read this yet y'all i'm just this is um i'm i was i found this just the pictures and, and grabbed the information so i could share it with y'all so I'm, I'm thinking out loud here i i i find these anomalies all the time where you have two structures on the same location both are old world. Matter of fact, uh, Conspiracy R Us was doing a video today, and that was kind of his uh, topic today, was where he was finding old world buildings underneath old world buildings. And to me, I think that that is evidence of a change in the simulation. And I think that possibly happened around 1943. Okay, this locate us uh, see uh, stands at location. Uh, some of the reservoir's original foundation can still be found in the southern court at the main branch. Today, water is primarily supplied to New York City via its three city water tunnels. The decommissioned Central Park Reservoir still remains, but has not operated as part of the Croton Aqueduct system since 1993. Uh, subway com commuters can see historical photographs showing the former reservoir. There's, the display is located on the wall in the underground passageway that connects the Fifth, Fifth Avenue station of New York City Subway's IRT Flushing Line 7 and 7 trains, okay? And the 42nd Street uh, Byron Park Station on the NID 6th Avenue line, it means nothing to me, B, D, F, F, and N trains. Don't know what the hell they're talking about. A few years before the reservoir was torn down, there were two tablets affixed to the reservoir. The inscription was, oh, that's interesting, historical and descriptive account of the Croton Aqueduct the law authorizing the construction of the work passed May 2nd, 1834. Stephen Allen, William W. Fox, Saul Alley, Charles Dunsbury, and Benjamin Brown, M. Brown were appointed commissioners during the year 1834. Two surveys were made, one by David B. Douglas and the other by John Martini, Martini whatever, in eight, April 1835. A majority of the electors of the city voted in favor of constructing the aqueduct. On the 7th of May, following the Common Council, instructed the commissioners to proceed with the work. David B. Douglas was employed as chief engineer until October 1836 when he was succeeded by John B. Jarvis. In March 1837, Benjamin and M. Brown resigned and was succeeded by Thomas T. Woodruff. In March 1840, the before-mentioned commissioners were succeeded by Samuel Stevens, John D. Ward, Zebedee Ring, Benjamin Birdsaw, and Samuel R. Childs. Work was commenced in May 1837. On the 22nd of June 1842, the aqueduct was so far completed that it received the water from the Croton River Lake. On the 27th, the water entered the receiving reservoir and was admitted into this reservoir on the succeeding 4th of July. The dam at the Croton River is 40 feet high and the overfall 251 feet in length. The Croton River, uh, Croton River Lake is five miles long and covers an area of 400 acres. The aqueduct from the dam to this reservoir is 
40 and a half miles long and will deliver in 24 hours 60 million imperial gallons. Huh. Capacity of the receiving reservoir is 150 million gallons and the reservoir 20 million gallons or 20 million. Okay. The cost to including this reservoir nearly $9 million. The second tablet stated blah 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 who cares who cares what was that picture vestiges of the croton distributing reservoir embedded in the foundation of new york's public library main branch huh remnant of the reservoir could still be seen today at the foundation of south court new york public library main branch and then this is uh this is the where I got that picture. I found it on the um, New York Digital Library's public collections. Date created 1890, approximate. So, anyways, I I just um, thought that that was. Um, a pretty neat thing. Um, I, I I did not know about that. Interesting to me. So you know, I'm not from New York, so you know that that that's a new one on me. Um, so oh, and and just by the way, um, I've got a a, a new channel, uh, Stuff Beagle Light. Um, I'll uh, I just put in a, a thing in there. Um. If you please go like and uh, subscribe, uh, I'm trying to get that channel going. Um, the idea is to get that channel monetized so that I can drive um, the subs to the my main channel, which is this channel, um, because it's I, I'm trying to I'm trying to beat the algorithm, um, and uh, so I'm not um, I can't monetize this channel without destroying it. So I have to, uh, and I can't get the, so the the I can't get the, I can't get the views because I'm not monetized because the algorithm won't show me. So I'm trying to to beat the system here. Um, so if you could help me out and go sub that channel, I'd really appreciate it. Stuff Beagle Light. Um, I'm putting new material on there um, as I can, um, and if I can get it up to uh, a certain condition then i'll start doing some special things on there that i'm not doing here but i've got to get um i've got to get some uh subs on there i've got i don't know 100 and something i don't even know i'm way far away from where i need to be um so anything you do to to get that channel uh would be very appreciative um thank you anyways back to our pictures i um, hope y'all like the little reservoir sidetrack there Just something I, I had not, I had never heard of. I, I, I've never heard anybody talk about it. And maybe I just missed it. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what, like when I come across stuff, I don't know if, if people know. And so I have to um, kind of ask. It's like, I, I don't know what y'all don't know. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all might, y'all might all know about that already. And I don't know about it. You know, I might be the the lackey here anyways that's that let's see got some underground sewer action here okay I'm just gonna grab them here and there I hope y'all gained a couple pounds to this turkey day. Ain't nothing like a, a good turkey dinner. Homemade. I'd say that that's it's one of the better best holidays out there. Um, this is interesting. Look at this. This is okay. Here, ground levels up here. That's your ground level. We got this underground. We got 
boss man there. You know, these guys, they're not intelligent guys. They, they just work. They're just glad to have work. They don't ask questions. They don't want to know nothing. They probably did talk amongst themselves, but they didn't ask questions. These guys, they know something. They know something. They, they, <laughs> look how many courses of brick that is. Matter of fact, let's, let's get a copy of this picture just because it's, uh, it's pretty good. All righty. We don't ever know what we're going to run across here. That's why I enjoy looking at these images with you guys is that I don't know what we're going to find when we look at them either. It's not like I've, I, I look when I look, when I go find them and I, 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 I don't look at them like deep until later. Um, what I do is I try to find ones that are, that have interesting pictures so that when we go look at them, that I know that there'll be good stuff to look at, but I, I have not looked at these. This is, I'm looking at them first time with you guys, you know, that this is all new. Look at that underground. So this is all, you know, fresh to me, just as it is maybe to you. Maybe these are old hat to you. I don't know. If they are, I'm sorry. If they're not, you're welcome. Look at all these people standing around. Kind of odd, right? You know, I was uh, uh, watching um, Mind Unveiled's, there's Fred right there, Mind Unveiled's video uh, he put out yesterday, I believe, about the uh, old postcards that were had the Cabbage Patch kids. If you hadn't seen that, it's a really good video, Portholes. Um, and uh, so I, I went looking into that a little bit. Um just to just to see if I could find anything um, a little more information uh, and you, you, you know it's it's really hard to find good quality information about that topic but what I did learn that kind of was interesting to me that I'm still kind of scratching my head about is that um that back in the day uh, in the, you know, the early 1900s era that, that, um, the, um, there was like a, a thing like people it, it's okay. The way I looked at it was that people excluding the cabbage patch kid thing. Okay. You, you've always, we've all heard the thing about the stork brings the baby. Right. And I knew, I knew that, back in the day that they said that, yeah, this where the babies come from, the stork brings it. Okay. And I always thought that they clock clocks are expensive, that they said that out of modesty, that they didn't, it was a way to, you know, explain to, you know, younger people. Um, look at all this brick underground right there. A way to explain to younger people where babies came from, you know, cause it's, you know, that's, age appropriateness it's not appropriate to explain anything to a child that's that's kind of what like the way i took it the way i understood that that's why they said that okay but if you if you look at the history of it um it's really weird because you know it, it, that's not really the way they looked at it back then the way they looked at it back then, it, it's like um, they, they 
it's like the myth was that they told people was that babies were grown in cabbage patches and that um the obelisk and that the stork delivered the babies from the cabbage patches this is interesting this is an old world piece right here and they're shoring it up they're putting in this uh this people piece of uh iron uh this this uh i beam here interesting but the, the my point is that they it, it's almost like that they they really didn't know where babies came from back then and i know that sounds weird i know that's not like well of course everybody knows they you know fall out your jj but that's if you, if you look into it, you'll you'll see what I'm saying. There's this weird thing back then where it seems like, and maybe I'm maybe I'm not seeing this right. Maybe, maybe I'm um maybe I'm not reading the reading the tea leaves right. But it seems like that people were um they didn't know. Look at that, how that looks like an arch right there. See that? That they didn't know where the babies came from. Like they had no idea. And that they just told eight, I887. Eight, eight, People always standing around looking. You know, it, like, like they didn't know. And, and it makes me wonder, were people sterile back then? Um, or a majority of people ster sterile back then, and so they couldn't have babies. So they really didn't know that it was a very rare thing for babies to actually come out, you know, the be born the 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 proper way, right? So maybe they were, you know, incubator baby baby in these, you know, these kids, these children, these babies, in a in a for a period of time, and um that people just didn't, they didn't understand. They were, they were ignorant because they, they literally didn't have that experience um, very often. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'm just, it, what I'm saying is if you look into the, um, the history, it's really weird. It, it's not like a, um, you're going to have trouble finding this information too. It's not like that these people, um, it wasn't like a, a fairy tale. It was like, here's pavement light. Okay, so we know all this under here is hollow. It's it's not like it's a um a, a fairy tale that they would tell that tell people. You know, it was the kind of the way it was. It was yeah, where do babies come? Oh, they're grown in the power cabbage patch, and they are uh, delivered by the stork. And I don't think that the cabbage patch. Obviously, babies aren't grown in a cabbage patch, but I'm I'm saying it's they're obviously not delivered by stork. But it makes you wonder why were they sharing this story over and over again? I mean, it's a thing. I mean, it's it's mine unveiled hit of, upon something there, and he stumbled on it by mistake. He was a uh, He was telling me about it uh, behind the scenes, where how he how he found that. I mean, he literally stumbled upon it in in his research for the photo manipulation video. And um, so I got brick below ground. That's not right. Should have brick foundations. But um. Yeah, it's a very interesting uh, topic. And, and those pictures are super weird. Absolutely super weird. And there's, th I don't, I don't, I think in his video, I don't think he even did justice to it. I think he, he, I, I think the pictures are really hard. They're, they're, they look so much alike um, in a way because they're all cabbages and all babies. So I think it's very difficult to, to determine which ones you have. And which ones you don't, but I think there was a lot of these images. 
and um they're not just all cabbage patch there was you know kids on babies on trains and, you know look at oh, arch right there so i mean it's just very interesting look how close so I find that very weird right there. Look how close that that big arch is to that building. I mean, it's within 10 feet, maybe. And you got the stairs. I mean, you literally drop in. That doesn't make sense right there, y'all. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it makes sense to somebody. We need we, we need to ask E War because he, he seems to have. He seems to have all the information. He, he's he's the the head know it all around here. Okay. Yeah, that picture's kind of boring me. Sorry if y'all were looking at. I don't know. Just it's something to look into, y'all. There, there's, there's, a, there's, a few channels that. That I actually, you know, like, okay, I, I don't, I don't, when you're a creator and as a creator, you'll, you'll understand this, that, uh, you know, that it's really hard to watch other, look at other people's videos when you're making videos. Like, so it's, you have to be considerably more picky than the average viewer. Um, because you just don't have the time. I mean, you can either watch their videos or make your own. That's the problem. So my list of videos or people that I watch their videos is, is not very large. Um, but mind unveiled, I definitely, every time they drop one, I watch it. Now there's some things that, that I don't get into. Um, and same with conspiracy, conspiracy or us. I mean, they, they, uh, just when they drop some, it's, it's really special, you know, to me. Look at that. Wow, that's Moorish looking. That man, look at that detail. Good grief. How unnecessary is all that? Man, I wish that picture was better. Building to lease. Damn. Man, I got that. Man. Is this one? These dudes are walking around street sewer. Man, uh, uh. See, that's dangerous as hell. Walking around with a a gas or a a, a, a lit flame in a sewer. Man, I don't think that's very safe. But what do I know? I don't know. I don't think I'd be doing that. Let's see. What do we got? I mean, they're saying, you know, is, is that new construction or is that repairs? Or is that adding to it? Now, well, why would you have this arched sewer right here and then have this pipe in the center of it? Does that make any sense? Let me take a picture of that. Let 
Boss man. Crappy awnings. Do 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 do. Where's everybody from tonight? Post in the chat where you're from. Call out. I'm I'm in uh, North Carolina, United States. Where about show at? See what how much how many how many uh, places around the world we're looking at tonight. I don't know what they're doing. Man, there's some crazy ass pictures here. All of these really need to be gone through. I mean, there's just no question. Surveyor. Coal hole cover. Mud flood winders. Park Avenue. So this is under Park Avenue. It's kind of interesting. Just knowing the location. Man, how in the hell do you even make, like, it's just crazy looking. How do you keep up with all this? Like, what the hell is... What are they doing here? That ain't a construction site. I mean... I mean, contractors... Yeah, they can make a mess, but that's not construction. That's that's not... Uh-uh. I don't know what... They, I mean, this is... A world... Uh, a old world building technique where you put the joist in right there. The arches below ground. I don't know. Oh, wow. Madison's 42nd and Madison. There's Fred. Well. Oh, wow, there's pictures of pavement glass right there. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh. Okay, what do we got going here, y'all? Oh, boy. That is pavement light in the process of being installed. That is a rare photograph. Whoa, mama. Okay, hold on, y'all. We got stuff. 
Let's see. We got to get copies of that. I don't even know what that man. I that mm, that is. Uh, oh, well. So this is this is a con pavement light that's been concreted in, and then they've got it on a I beam frame. And I'm assuming they're going to lift, lay that down into the sidewalk. Okay. That is really cool. This is pavement light here. Wow. That is that is that is old pavement light before it has solarized because it was originally clear. If it says anything about it, I doubt it. East 17th Street and 4th Ave. Oh, that one's been broken. Oh, hello. You see where it's been damaged. Look at that. 17th Street and 4th Ave. Oh, boy. Wow, look, look at that. Is this a stone foundation? Wow, that's a lot of foundation. This is modern here. This is stuff we did. You see, you see the difference between our work and, and old world. So... Hmm. So this is an aerial way, is what this is. They're they're making the aerial way. Wow, that's a rare photo. That is uh that's them in the process of where did I get that from? We need to go back and we need to go back. Hold on. We need to go back and kind of take a look here. I need to see what we didn't see because there's Let's see what these are. Okay. Ready? Oh yeah, there's pavement light right there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow. Okay. Look there. You see that right there? That's a, that's a big stone. Okay. It's probably one of these. And it was in the last picture we were just looking at um, that was on this. There's your pavement light. They are testing it. Wow. Now I've seen these tests before um done by the um 
not this particular test, but I've seen these tests where they they uh they, they like they'll drive trucks and put a lot of weight on them um in order to um uh, test uh the um uh, capabilities of the strength and look at that oh man that's a good photo and they're trying that this is like a field test holy crap that's awesome that is a good find whoa baby oh that's it that's going in my collection right there that right there is pavement like porn I know you're like, what the hell is he talking about now? That 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 is a rare photograph. You are not gonna. This kind of pavement light is interesting. See that, how it's got these little round piece, like round. It looks like a screw. This kind were designed so they could screw them in and out and replace them. They weren't one of the better ones, but um. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, now let's go back up to this is the first photograph. We're going to relook at that photograph again. I'm going to show you what I'm saying. Look, here's the stone up here. They were doing a drop test. And they were dropping it on here. See how it would stand up. It was good stuff um, in, in the um, when it when it was first when it was new. It was good stuff. It was B way brick below ground. Okay, that's strange. Brick does not do good below ground. It is is not not a good. No, that that's not that's not good. That's a bad idea. Ow. Let me get back up. Make sure I ain't miss nothing. Okay. I'm convinced. Okay. Ooh. Tell you what, let's uh let's go and look. Let's 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 change it up a bit just for shits and giggles. Let's go to a, a different archive just to you know mess with your heads a little bit. This is the Cincinnati Public Library. Uh, this is a uh, exhibit examples of Cincinnati's historic architecture. Uh, let's see what they got here. Alrighty. Change it up a little bit on you guys. Ladies and gents. There's a clock. Clocks are expensive. Got four ones on the clock. 1891 maybe on the on the date there. Art Museum and Academy. I got a wind catcher up here. Porthole here. Arch to Art Museum. Okay. All right, so we just kind of have that just sitting there chilling for no particular reason. Okay. 
See how they roll in Cincinnati. Church Street. My Flood Winders there and there. Clifton Residence. Oh, that's a nice one. Mud flood winders there. Right there, in case you need them. Got ether finials all over the top. Look at that one. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's a good little set here. Columbian School, Avondale. Got mud flood renders all the way around the bottom. In case you need those. In case you want to look out through the basement. Columbia School. Hello, little fellas. I'm just looking at your mud flood winners here today, if you don't mind. You don't mind, do you? Nah. Chamber of Commerce. Mud flood winners going down in the ground there. There's that three arch thing with the circle. That's a heck of a building. Ether finials on top. Central Union Station. Oh, this is this one's a wonderful one. Um, in case you've never seen it, uh, th th this is uh, the 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 uh, trains came in and out underneath here. Now this building is gone today. Um, there is a, a freeway in this area that um, I'm not exactly sure how it runs, but th this th this is still. Um, this is really cool. Okay, you see these arches right here and here and here and here underground? Okay, well, those same arches are all across the front here. I know, you can't see them. But you can still see them today because there's a parking lot here today. And right here is a... a it's there's a the, the road is here and they left this portion of the wall right here as a memorial to this building you can still see this today you can go down in this parking lot and when you're in the parking lot and you're you're over here and you're looking back you can still see today the wall that was originally right here with the arches still in it it's still there at their, at their fencing and finials on top. So this is a really cool piece of mud flood evidence right here. Very cool. Alrighty. Let me get these opened up. It's a little bit slow. This is, uh, I don't know what this is. Somebody's house, it looks like. Got mud flood winders. At the finial up here. Fourth Street East from Nicholas Hotel. And there's Fred, prominent front and center, doing what Fred does. First National Bank building, because that makes sense. Let's just build like that. Look how it's flared out at the top. Arches. It's the courthouse.
kind of weird right there. Is that a guy? I don't know. Looks like a guy. I don't know. Wow. Just incredible. This this is early America, y'all. This ain't Europe. It don't make any sense. No matter what E War says. Oh, Trojan horse jackass. I never, never fell for the E War thing. I, I think a lot of people in our community did, though. I never understood it. I didn't think it was a problem, uh, per se. Jewish home and hospital. This is where I guess Woody will go at some point. We'll send him here. Um, at the Finials. I, I never thought that, that Hotel Alms. I never. I, I, I mean, just because somebody uses somebody's research for to and made it their own. I mean, like, I don't really, you know, there's a um, wind catcher. I mean, I, I thought it was a good compilation, but I didn't think it was, uh, it was very uh, slick. Let's put it that way. But I didn't, I didn't feel like it was a, an agenda or a, a psyop or anything. I didn't feel like he was a Trojan horse, but when they, when he flip, flip see Woody, okay, Woody doesn't count because Woody doesn't know what the Woody is hat. He's not all the way awake. I have video of him saying I'm not fully awake, so I know Woody's not fully awake. If you if you say I'm not fully awake, then you know you're not fully awake. You know, okay, you you know you're you're still waking up, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But Woody is uh. He's just riding the coattails of, of Ewar. Okay. Ewar is, is what's more important because he's, he's a whole nother thing. Um, you, we don't know who he is. We don't, you know, I, he's using a, I believe he's using a, using a voice, uh, modulator. Um, because I, and I, I tell you why, because I've literally, I was watching, um, uh, this was, a month or two ago, and I was listening to a, a video, and and I finished at the finials, and I finished watching the video. It, it was an Ewall video, and and I I walked out of the room, and it 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 ended the video, and it, and then it started playing another video that I had lined up, and um, it was a video of some of someone that I know personally, and they made a video, but in their video they used a voice modulator. Um, to do um, a commercial for, for what they were doing. Uh, they were a band and they used the voice modulator because they, 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 they wanted it to sound different than their voice for their commercial. Cause they, they, it, they didn't want it to be their voice talking about the band. You know what I mean? Which makes sense. Um, and uh, German home for the old, for old men with mud flood winters. And anyways, the the Ewar video went off and I was in the next room and then I heard Ewar's voice again. And then, and it, it did strike me as weird at first, but then it was like, wait a minute, why are they talk? Why is Ewar talking about this band, this band of people that I know personally? Why is he talking? How the hell does he know them? And I was like totally confused. So, so then I walked back in the room and I saw it was on my friend's video, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And then I realized that um I was listening to a module a mod a voice modulator on my friend's video. So then I went back and played the EWAR video, and it the, the same. They're they're using the same modulator. It literally it, it and I've 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 I played it on my um on my channel. Um, to see if anybody else called it. Nobody called it, but um, I wanted to see if you guys heard what I heard. Of course, I didn't do it the same way. I didn't play Ewar's voice and then this voice, so, so I didn't play it back together, but I just wanted to kind of see if y'all caught it just all natural, but I mean, I, it, what, are the, what are the odds that, you know, that they're 
the, the same voice. It, come on, it's it's a voice modular. Now, who he's hiding from, I don't know. I mean, whatever. I mean, I'm not, you know, I I'm not a that doesn't bother me. Um what it doesn't bother me when you when you're when you want to be you know anon you know you want to be anonymous that doesn't bother me i get that 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 has there's a lot of people who like mondenville they're they're anonymous they're uh a, a conspiracy rs they're they're anonymous there there's channel uh jerry boosters they're anonymous i get it i get it totally get it. i have no problem with it the problem comes when you attack other people and you're anonymous because then you're you you're you're there's no way to debate something you don't even know if it is real or exist or or you don't know what you're debating. You know, you you have no idea. You you can't debate the air. You can't debate a voice. You have to debate a a, a person. You have to be able to look somebody in the eye when you're debating them. You have to know if they're fucking hearing you. You have to look in their eyes and you have to see the recognition that they just heard the words that came out of your fucking mouth. If you can't do that, you got a problem. And there's the problem with Ewar. Anybody that is is anonymous and is attacking people is red flag to me. Absolute red flag. That's my opinion. Let's see. ONG Armory. Winners on ground level. Kind of Moorish looking. That's a damn castle. Neve building. That's pavement light right there. Coal hole cover there and there. Pavement light there. Pavement light there. Coal hole covers there. More pavement light right there. Big ass arch. Whoa, look at what is that right there? That's probably just a mess in the uh, a messed up uh that's probably a messed up uh, negative or something. A pavement light right there. Music hall. Whoa, mama. Look at that. At their fencing and finials, at their antennas. Very nice. Very nice. Rose window, very cinematic looking. The gold ether lights. Very nice. Elmer F. Foot. Rose window. Trinity. Oh wow! Looks like a kind of like a um, spinoff on the Flower of Life right there. How cool is that? Boss man looks like he's got his hand in his pocket, doing the Masonic shake a bake. Let's see. Hope y'all are enjoying these images tonight. Hope y'all are having a good Thanksgiving. I don't know if I don't know if other countries celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't think they do, but here in America we have Thanksgiving and it's a major holiday to us. And and uh basically we sit on our ass and get fat and and uh talk shit to you know whoever we feel like. Um it's become a, a rant and rave party. But uh anyways, it's a fun holiday and that's where we're at today and we're just hanging out and trying to give you somewhere to go once you're done you know 
bantering back and forth with your relatives and they, you know, aren't hearing the damn thing you're saying. There's a wind catcher. And uh, it give you some place to go. We've got the Phoenix Club. Good place to go. With mud flood winders. Crappy awnings. Got a clock. Clocks are expensive. Stoneball finial. Unscrubbed cartouches. 18 something. Hard to say. Alrighty. Uh, uh, oh. Perrin building. Look how big that front window is. That glass right there, if you know the history of glass making, that, that is hard to make right there. That's not easy in that time frame. Glass making was a secret art back then. They were very uh, careful with that knowledge. Crappy outcropping door that we made. Palace Hotel. Royal Blue Service, Deer Park, Oakland. Alrighty. Unfortunately, these images I can't download in high res, so I have to look at them online. is the is the best way to look at them. You can download them, but you can't get them high. Res. Like, let's put it this way. If you download this image, you see the quality that you're looking at right here. That's all you're going to get from the image. It's not going to get any better than that. It's not going to look like this when you when you zoom in. I mean, these aren't the most high-res photos, but you're not going to get the, the image quality. Um, it's going to be very bad. It actually, it's go actually, it'll be worse than this. It doesn't look that bad when they're this size, but when you start zooming in, it's like, whoa. Okay, I get it. Mud flood winders. We got arc light there. Somebody's little abode. Mud flood winders. Nice little little house. Little etherfinial there. I wonder if that door goes down. Sure looks like it does. And he's doing his little Masonic gang sign there. Guess you're into that. My view of the... See, this is a perfect example right here. This this little hill right here, I think, is cover up for mud flood. We probably did that little hill right there. My um, view of the Masons is that they were a group organized to cover up the mud flood. That that's their whole purpose. Stoneball finials on top. their whole job was to to cover up flat earth asterisks that they that they just they had the the power and the uh secretive you know secretiveness to cover it up that's what you'd need to have a cover up you need to have a secret organization well there's your masons when, when's the last time you met a Mason that knew anything about Masonry? Residents of M.E. Ingalls, East West Walnut Hills. Got their finials up there. That was not that great. Oh, let's see. 
This is residence of D.B. Gamble Esquire, Avondale. Got mud flood winders. Stoneball finials, ether finial. Charles de Dehume Clifton. Mud flood winders there. There. Reservoir and pumping station Eden Park. And I believe this is still there today, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least parts of it. A very impressive structure. Okie, let's see. Oh, okay. Nicholas, St. Nicholas Hotel. So this is Santa Claus's hotel. With the winders, arc lights. St. Nick Hotel. Very nice. Second at Presbyterian Church and his Episcopal Church, Glendale. That's a big steeple. Nice ether finial there. Another ether finial there. Scottish Rite Cathedral, Broadway, Mud Flood Winders included. Residence of R.H. Mitchell Effendale. Some hanky panky going on there. Mud Flood Winders. At the finial up there. Oh, mm, wait. Buttons aren't toys. Let's get them open. Okay. New City Hall. So, the New City Hall has mud flood winters on it. You know, in case you need them for future, you know. Okay. Okay. At their finials, at their fencing. At their finials, clock. Clocks are expensive. Got four ones. At their finial. The Davidson Fountain. Okie dokie. Clock up here with four ones. Alrighty. Blimer building. Got looks like pavement light right across the front here. I know it's hard to see. Porthole. Porthole. Etherfinial. The Oritz Apartment House. Mudflood Winders. At the Finials. 1881, maybe? At the Finial. Oh, we already looked at that. And let's see. 
This was, I believe, built in the 20s or 30s. It's the Union Terminal. Time Star Building. There's Fred. I'll check that out. Interesting symbology. Maybe a green man. Wow. Florida Lee's across the top. Cincinnati's pretty cool. Third National Bank building. Got a drop in here. Coal hole cover. Acid trip doorway. In case you need that. Third National Bank. Of course it's a bank. Of course. All the best ones are banks. All the best ones. Phoenician shells. That's pretty cool. That's a neat roof. Oh, wrong way. The Odd Phyllis Temple. This is another group I believe had involvement in the cover up of the mud flood. I think that they handled different aspects, the different um I don't I'm not exactly sure. I think the odd fellas might have had something to do with the, the orphan train kind of stuff, but I, you know I think they had different things they were doing. I think they were more, they were less important or less, they were a lower rank, I think, than the, the Masons. I think the Masons were, you know, much higher um, on the totem pole, but those are flat earth asterisks right there, even though it's a half. And I think they're, they're I think the Oddfellows were important. Um, Observatory Mount Lookout. Got mud flood winters on the ground. Porthole Stonewall Finial Observatory. West Fifth Street. There's Fred. Where's the horse that built a America? <coughs> America. Walnut Street Theater. Could be pavement light right there, but not sure. University of Cincinnati. We made that outcrop door there. Portholes. Probably a wind catcher right there. Another wind catcher here. What? Hush it. United Bank building. Got the mud flood winners. Got Fred down here. Oh, shit. We're trying to look at pictures. What do you want? A cookie? You already had a cookie. I already know what you are. You, you, already, you ain't getting more cookies. Hey, hey, don't yell at me. You already had two. I know how many you have. I gave them to you. Sorry, folks. Being annoyed. 
in my ear. I hear you. What do you want? Sorry, folks. He gets to wanting. When he gets to wanting, he gets to be annoying. Okay, so here's the end of this one. We're gonna get get to the end. This this was a small one. Young Men's Christians Association building, the YMCA. Everybody go to the Fred and Built America MCA. Because we've got doors below ground. I think these are designated buildings. They need to call it something. You got your checkerboard motif there. Very nice. Why are you in my face? Get out my face. Workhouse. So this is, uh, if you, uh, you know, if you were in debt, okay, you, you would go here to work. And they would, they would, uh, you'd work off your debt. This was a thing back then. But it also is a, a way of, it's a building designation. So the workhouse was a, a, a bit, uh, you know, a des another way to designate what a building was. So it's another one to look for. Widow's home. At the finials up there. Part of the wind catcher there. Porthole. Oh, that's the same picture. We don't look at the same picture. We will look at a different picture. Western Methodist book concern. W fourth. Okay. Don't know what that means. Ether antenna. Okay, so that's the end of that set. Let's see what else I got for y'all. I don't even know. I just pulled some I thought would be interesting. Let's go to this one. This one could be fun. But, oh, this I got to tell you what this is. You don't even know what this is. You don't know because I ain't told you. I'm going to tell you now. Collection of documenting the centennial exhibition of 1876 in Philadelphia, which is celebrated the 100th anniversary of American independence. The Centennial Photographic Company was granted exclusive rights to photograph the World's Fair. Oh, so we're going to go take a look at some World's Fair photos. Why not? Y'all got anything else better to do? Of course not. That's why you're here. And hopefully it's worth your time. If it's not worth your time, see, I don't know, somebody that knows more than I do. Agricultural Hall. Got a rose window, it looks like. Big old ether finials up there. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh. I mean, I gotta do this. Ah, that's the stuff. Now we're doing good. Okay, look at that. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Zip it, Skippy. It's the architectural hall interior. These displays are just incredible. Wow, look at that. that, that oh, man, look at that. That's just, jeez. It's just so overkill. Wow. Wow.
Yeah, okay. All righty then. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, yeah, you put a ball in there and you shoot it in it. Yeah, you're not going to blow your freaking head off by it exploding on you. Yeah, I'm not buying that narrative. I do not believe in cannons. I'm a cannon denier. How you like them apples? Quote of the day. Pigs is a cannon denier. Yeah, I said it. It's my opinion. You're welcome to yours. Don't mind hearing it. This is Brewer's Hall. Okie dokie. Brazilian cotton exhibit. That's strange. Belmont Avenue. Wow, look at that. Gosh. That's that's just that's incredible. I'm, I really knew nothing about early American history. Look at that dude standing next to that statue. That's a trip. I gotta I gotta copy that one just for just for shits and giggles. That's that's trippy. Got your Civil War narrative bullshit. The American Volunteer. Okay, wait a minute. All right, where am I? Oh, all right, okay. Let me get my bearings. I'm just randomly picking these, y'all. There's too many to go through every picture. Floral Hall West Passage. got a Moorish look to it there. Floor Hall West End. That's an inter interesting technology there. I'm I remember somebody might have been Jared Boosters talking about these dude ads here one day. It was uh yeah, I think Jared Boosters. I might be wrong. It's either Jared Mind Unveiled or Conspiracy or us. It was one of those three. I think it was Jared. Dome Memorial Hall. At their fin at their fencing here. Wow. Phoenician shells. Old big old statue. Just some old ass pictures. Centennial openings. Man, it's a hell of a thing. Centennial opening again. People just standing all over everything. Look at that. They climbed up on top of the horse statue. Look at that dude. He's sitting on the horse's head. 
I mean, is that like a, like, is that normal? Is, I mean, is that not, don't you think they'd be like, get the hell off our statue, you dumbass. What's wrong with you, man? You got no coof? Poor holes. They had a weird thing about climbing up things back then. I've noticed that one one weird fad that I noticed is they like to um climb in trees to look at things. It's a phenomenon I've noticed quite often. Or a culture hall, big old fountain. Check those things out. Wow. There you go. There's those things. Uh, and that thing. That's wild looking. Some kind of ether gathering stuff. Man. I'm not sure. But that that right there looks straight off a Slipknot album. I don't know. It really looks like something I've seen on a Slipknot album. So we got a greenhouse. That's what I'm building right now is a greenhouse. That's a hell of a hell of a thing. There's those things. Good grief. Man, that's techie. That is wild. I don't even know. What is this weird channel right here? What is that about? That's kind of odd. Okay. Guns in front of government building. So we've got our cannons that aren't cannons. Spouting the uh, official narrative. Well, hell, if I wanted that, I'd just go watch, you know, Ewar and get the official narrative. He tells me all about that stuff. I mean, literally, I'm I'm expecting uh, uh, Ewar to unmask himself one day and be uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson or something. I mean, like he's going to be uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy or some shit like that. He's going to be one of the you know, it's going to be like Elon Musk. <laughs> it's gonna be, <laughs> damn. Uh, I don't know how you didn't see that coming. Uh, so excessive for this time frame. That's my opinion. That's wicked looking. Man, look at that thing. What? What is that? Hold on, we gotta get us we gotta get a snapshot of that. I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh man, it's like a crazy ass Faraday cage thing. I don't know. Stand in there and get ethered up or something.
Kansas exhibit, Kansas and Colorado building. A big bell. I guess it's representing the Liberty Bell. The crack. It's a weird thing. I don't know what that thing is. Ice yacht. Oh. Ice yacht. In case you need an ice yacht. Okay. Horticultural. There's those crazy ass other thingies. Look at that symbolic. That's crazy looking. Horticulture Hall. Okay. There's a train for Frankie. I think I saw you in the chat there a little while back. Frankie likes him a train here and there. Main building. Huh. Machinery Hall. Diamond Symbology. Yeah, okay, yeah. We're going to shoot that thing. Yeah. you will blow your freaking arm off. what you're going to do. Uh, here's your train, Frankie. Number 89. It's a little choo choo. That's kind of a tiny one. I don't know why so many of these are not, you can't view them. It's kind of not very nice of them to hold back on us. Everything's just so big. Memorial Hall. Oh, it's a mini train. I think those mini trains were what uh, was used on the uh, Underground Railroad, which was an actual railroad. That that's my opinion on that. It's, it wasn't a uh, a slave, uh, you know, a way for slaves to get away. It was a actual underground railroad with you know real trains. They were smaller trains, but they were. Uh, there's actually a a show. I don't. I really don't recommend you go watch it because it's really. It, it's got some really horrific shit they do in it. That's just awful but uh it's called the underground railroad on um amazon prime i think um but that's it you know they harriet tupman she was um an engineer on the railroad but 
But if you look into it, it's really interesting. The history is, it's, you know, they use narrow gauge track and um, they had these mini trains and it was just a way for them to, to maneuver through, you know, they could maneuver trains through, you know, smaller tunnels and stuff. It, I don't know. I guess it had its advantages in certain locations. And they, uh, when we, you know, found this place, it, it had all these uh, miniature railroads. And I got a feeling that they were either in disrepair or um, they weren't as functional or they didn't serve the function that they once did. And so we didn't use them. And, um, you know, for mainstream stuff. And um, then they eventually were forgotten. And they came up with the, the horse shit, you know, um, underground railroad slave story for, uh, you know, in case people did remember anything. But yeah, if you look into that, you'll find... That's a very interesting rabbit hole to go down. Look at all those other antennas and finials there. Pacific Guard Company, what does that say? Look at that other finial. Pacific guano company okay i don't want that okay odd look at that flat earth asterisk it's interesting look how they, they've designed you know in these that's really cool very creative right there Sales exhibit machinery hall. Portico. Very nice, very nice. State buildings, New Hampshire Day. These are old photos. State buildings from Machinery Hall. Spanish government building. Now, I'm not saying we did or didn't build this. Let me be clear. For all the ninnies out there, Ewar, Woody, I don't know if we built this or not. I'm not saying we did build it. I'm not saying we didn't build it. I'm saying it's interesting and I think it needs to be looked at. I don't have the answers. But please, for fucking love of God, quit saying that I'm saying that these pictures are fake or that we did or didn't build this. I don't know. It, un unless you've talked to me, okay, and I've explained to you word for word my thoughts, you don't have a clue what my thoughts are. Okay? So stop thinking for me. I'll do my own thinking, please. That is just amazing right there. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Does it say anything? K 
can't read it. That's, I don't even know what that is. That's just wild looking. Russian. Something from Russia. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I was I was thinking that those figures were kind of Tartarian looking. I wonder if they actually were. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'll ask Ewar. Ewar knows all. Ewar's my hero. Vermont State Building. Well, now that is an impressive structure. Vermont. Horseshit narrative stuff. I'm going to sit on top of the, the big old cannon thingy. Let me sit on top of this mortar and see if it fires this ball at my ass. Hmm. Does it work? Does it not work? I don't know. Nobody can figure out how to get this thing to shoot the ball. Variation of agriculture building from northeast. Look at those other finials. Government building. Oh, wow. Look at those lighthouse lights. That's tech. We got seals and what the hell? This is a very strange. The hell? The Sea World? What the fuck? I don't know. Smithsonian. Oh, horseshit narrative stuff. Did I mention that dinosaurs are probably just not, you know, well, real? <laughs> I think we showed a, a quote unquote dinosaur bone a minute ago. I passed right by it and I didn't even think, I didn't, didn't even think to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I would. I would. I would uh, probably, you know, mark those off the list of reality. Probably be a good place to start. Let me go to. Did I look at this? I don't know if I started at page one or not. Uh oh. I got a little. Okay, hold on. Got it locked up. Well, I don't know what I've done. Can I go back? I don't know. It's locked up on me. Gonna search. There's some more of that Russian stuff. Kill that out. I don't know. I think that's about that's about all I can do tonight, guys. I gotta work in the morning. Gotta go back to working on my project. So I'm gonna check out. I wanted to thank you uh, for hanging out with me tonight, and I hope I uh, gave you a little something to do besides jibber jaw with your, you know, friends and family that think you're absolute fucking lunatics. It's okay, you're not the crazy people. It's those guys. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, and uh, my background tonight is uh, Hanging Rock State Park. This is the Lower Cascades, um, and I've actually uh, been swimming in this beautiful little pond here uh many times and um it is a very special little place so if you ever get in north carolina 
and you want to go on a nice vacation, Hanging Rock State Park. It's one of my favorite places in the whole world. And um, now this is the lower Cascades. And when I was uh, a teenager, I almost died on the upper Cascades. I fell off of it. Um, it was, uh, it's, there's not a good picture um, of it uh, that you can understand what it looked like. But it, it basically, you know, in a lot of ways looks like this. But it's just a cascade that's much higher up. And um, I fell off the top of it when I was a teenager, um, I climbed up it with a friend and I sat down and, um, cause we were tired from climbing cause it was, it was so high up. It was high up to us, you know? And, um, I sat down and when I sat down, I sat down in pure like algae layer. And I, I, it was like being on a water slide. I, I sat down as soon as I sat down, I went Phew! and I just took off like a bullet, like a rocket. And, um, I went flying and I flew out into the air and a tree branch hit me in the, it was hanging over and it hit me in the head and it just knocked pure shit out of me. And, um, next thing I know, wait, I'm waking up and I'm in midair as I'm falling and I land straight on my, my two feet and, and I hit so hard that my, when I landed my my ass hit the ground the pressure of it and um then i stood right back up and i was okay i was sore for a couple days from the pressured landing but um i could they they said that i was really lucky because a lot of people had been killed um matter of fact when i was looking for this picture i ran across an article where a kid had recently been killed up there but um I was very lucky. I, I mean, I've, I I could have easily died during that. That was one of many times I could have died. So anyways, I'm still here. Uh, Creator's got some purpose for me. And I'm sure he's got a purpose for you guys too. You just uh, you just have to find it and believe that uh, there is a reason for all of this wonderfulness that we go through in life. But uh, I hope that uh, you all had a good Thanksgiving. And um, we will see you shortly. I will be back as soon as I can. Uh, with love and light, this is Biggs out. again say wolf again i've got one that can see it's, it's a mystery it's a mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma don't you get it welcome to the underground This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later!